fourth standard you have already learned about devanagari numeral and international numeral now let's learn something new look at this clock this clock does not have numbers can you guess what these symbols called yes they are roman numeral in europe in the olden times roman capital letters were used to write numbers that is why they were called roman numerals in this video you are going to learn about roman numerals in this method there are certain symbols used to write numbers here is the list of symbols the letter i is the symbol used for 1 v for 5 x for 10 l for 50 c for 100 D for five hundred, M for thousand. There are certain rules for writing numbers using the Roman numerals. Let's see how to write numbers using these rules. According to first rule, if either of the symbol I or X is written consecutively two or three times, their sum total is the number they make. Now let's see with an example. If you write I and I two times, its value will become one plus one is equal to two. Similarly, if you write I three times, its value will become one plus one plus one is equal to three. If you write X two times, its value will become ten plus ten is equal to Twenty. Now let's move to rule number two. The symbols I or X can be repeated consecutively for a maximum of three times. The numeral V is never repeated consecutively. It means you can repeat I three times and its value will become three. You can also repeat X. Three times, its value will become ten plus ten plus ten is equal to thirty. But if you repeat I four times, it will become wrong. Similarly, if you repeat X four times, its value will become wrong. And one more thing you should keep in mind that V is never repeated consecutively. Now let's move to rule number three. When either I or V is written on the right of the symbol of a bigger number, its value is added to the value of the bigger number. Let's see by taking an example. Suppose if you write I on the right of V, the value will become five plus one is equal to six. Similarly, if you write I three times on the right of V, its value will become eight. Similarly, if you write I on the right of X, its value will become ten plus one is equal to eleven. Similarly, if you write V to the right of X, its value will become. Now let's move to last rule. When I is written on the left of V or X, then its value is subtracted from the value of V or X. However, the symbol I is not written more than once before V or X. Now let's see with an example. If you write I on the left of V. Then its value is subtracted from the value of v, that is five minus one is equal to four. Similarly, i x is equal to ten minus one is equal to nine. It means if you write i two times before v, it will become wrong. Similarly, for x. 
So student, before you write Roman numeral, you should know these all four rules. So children, if you know the symbols used to write Roman numerals and if you know the rules, then it is easy to write Roman numerals. Here is the list of Roman numeral from 1 to 20 and 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 500 and 1000. Now let's see something more about the Roman numerals. In this method, there is no symbol for 0. Secondly, value of the symbol do not change with its place. Thank you.